Hello viewers at home and welcome back to the Mad Vid Pro YouTube channel. I know, today's looking a little classic. You might remember if you were kind of a more long-time viewer of the channel. I used to have my setup like this with a little webcam recording my face, which isn't really a bad webcam to be fair. It, lo it looks all right. However, you know, in most of my recent videos, I use an actual camera, which looks a heck of a lot better. But you can blame me for this. We're on the old webcam setup today because... Frankly, I forgot to charge the batteries in the camera. Anyways, folks, today we're looking at a new text-to-image model. It's been a while since we got a brand spanking new text-to-image model. I mean, we've seen some quote-unquote new models, right? Different little versions of Stable Diffusion, anime-based Stable Diffusion models, for example, or Pimped Diffusion, which we saw not too long ago on the Pollinations website. But now we've got Ernie. This is a brand new Chinese text-to-image model. Let's say it's state-of-the-art here. And it's available actually for completely free to use here on Hugging Face. However, if you do plan on trying this, I might wait a little bit after this video is posted. If you're watching this video, like right after it's been posted, because I bet things are going to get swamped up here. So if you do decide to go use Ernie right away after this video is posted, Please try to refrain from like spamming it so everyone sort of gets a chance to try it out. Anyways, really quick before we get into Ernie, I want to talk about my website here. It's linked in the description of all of my videos and you know, it's got a link to my Discord where you can find the latest in AI news. But most importantly, I want to talk about this one, AI Links. Now this takes you to this large Google Doc that I've made with help from you community members and to just add up basically everything that we can find for all the little AI projects that are out there thus far, all the different AI websites, and we've categorized everything right here. So right now this big list is all just text image generators, for example. And I think, yes, Ernie has already been added in here, but you know, we've got text models, text to video models, text to code, text to 3D. And you guys have done a really great job at adding lots of new stuff that I had never known about before on this website. It's seven pages of all of these fantastic websites, all nice and categorized. And I'm very happy that as a community, we can work together and make something like this. So yeah, check out my website if you're interested in lots of different AI models. Anyways, let's get into Ernie. So this is new. I think it came out about last week or maybe the week before. I found out about this on my Discord server, so thank you to the community members who suggested for me to look at this model. You guys do fantastic suggestions. Brand new text image generator. It's not Dolly 2, it's not a stable diffusion variation. It is brand new. And I'm already seeing people posting in my Discord as well, different generations that they've made with it, and it actually does seem to be very interesting. There's a few differentiating factors that I'd like to talk about specifically with Ernie here that we don't find with stuff like Midjourney or Dolly 2 or even Stable Diffusion. Here's the example of an image generated that I saw today in my Discord here by user number 42069. Very nice username there. But as you can see, this is a portrait that the AI generated and obviously, you know, it's not perfect. It's not a perfect human. It's hard to do human faces. It's hard to generate those, let's be honest, but it looks pretty darn good and this looks very promising thus far. And I think Ernie really is trying to be a competitive force in this market too, because we can see this little tagline, Ernie Vilg, or V-I-L-G here, which is, you know, we see that with Dolly 2, with Dolly 2's little logo in the bottom. And we also have saw that with Google's party unreleased text to image model. They have a little Google party down in the corner. So they're pretty serious, it seems here. But Ernie actually has taken a very approach here to the model and how you can sort of select your output image. We haven't seen this done with Dolly 2. We haven't seen it done with Stable Diffusion. We haven't really seen it done with Midjourney as well, though it could be coming to those in the future. There's the ability to choose styles here. And of course, you know, different websites such as Playground AI have added their own style selections. So you, when you generate, for example, in Playground AI, you can apply a style to a model like Dolly 2 that already exists, but this is built right into Ernie. So we've got all of these different styles that you can pick from. So if you really wanted to make something that looks realistic, let's say, for example, picking the realistic style is apparently going to give us a better result than picking something like cyberpunk or concept art. And of course they do have just the base model explore infinity that we can pick here. And this would be for everything. So if what you want to generate, you know, doesn't apply to any of these fixed styles, explore infinity really is what you want to pick. But it's also important to note that I think this is where 
text to image generation models are going to be headed in the future. I think that Midjourney is definitely going to add something like this, or maybe even Dolly 3 or the next text to image model that OpenAI puts out, or maybe Stable Diffusion as well. But I think with Stable Diffusion, it's already sort of happening just with everyone's own separate models. For example, in Novel AI, they have like a Stable Diffusion model that's completely based on anime. So we already have anime apparently built right into Ernie. So it's really cool to see all of these different built-in styles. And as you can see, it is a Chinese model. So all these examples are in Chinese, but they're looking very impressive. I think this right here, I mean, I don't, I don't speak or read Chinese, but I think this is a demonstration of all of the different styles that you can pick from. And yeah, there's quite a lot of variation, but there's also quite a lot of similarity as well. And I think that's what you really want to aim here for the styles. We want the high coherency, which is the similarity aspect, but we want the differences, which is that, you know, artistic touch that we're specifically looking for when we pick that different style. So this is just awesome to see. We got pixel art here. That pixel art looks promising. The drawing, this is this is shit looking like it's going to be a competitive little model here. And we can try it for free here on Hugging Face, which is amazing. Hugging Face is a great website. One last thing I want to mention about the style before we do test it out. I don't really know if this is just adding words to the prompt here, which is basically just adding stuff to this Explore Infinity, or is this like a different specifically trained data set, or like it cuts out the rest of the data set to actually come up with this stuff. In which case, it doesn't really matter which one it picks. If it works well, it works well. So let's try with pixel style to start off with here. And we can choose some different resolutions, by the way. We've got 1024 by 1024, which is what Dolly generates in. But we've also got 1024 by 1536 and 1536 by 1024. So just a slightly larger style that produces different aspect ratios. I'm upset that there aren't smaller ones, though, so I can quickly rattle off some generations just to explore the model. By the way, guys, if you generate anything really cool with Ernie, please, please, for the love of God, send it right into my Discord server so I can see it. Let's do it. Classic Lemon Prompt. We're going to do pixel art. I'm not even going to mention any pixel art, by the way, in the prompt here to see if the style can just pick it up for me. Let's just click generate, and you'll see it begins to generate. And actually, it's doing pretty quick right now. We can see the progress loading here. And wow, okay, we got some generations here, and these are mighty impressive. All right, so I didn't even mention pixel art in the prompt. We got to keep that in mind. If I mention pixel art, these might be more pixel arty, but we definitely still got pixel art in there. And it doesn't seem, at least in my, you know, inference here, my inference on how I think this works, I think that the pixel art and these different styles are actually different models entirely rather than just adding and tacking stuff onto the prompt. Because if I feel like if I put pixel art in the prompt, we'd get a fully pixel art image, not a mixed image. I think that route is going to provide better results in the long run with these text to image generation models. But these results aren't too bad. We have a cute lemon relaxing on the beach wearing sunglasses. He is drinking lemonade. So this one's actually really creative. I like that little creative touch. Not only is he a lemon, he's lemonade himself, which that's that's creative. That's the kind of creativity I like to see with these models. And it's not bad either. Definitely pixel art. He's got the sunglasses and it's very coherent throughout. Sunglasses are available in pretty much all of these. Some of them are better than others. Like this is not a great generation here. Let's be real. I mean, but it's got most of the aspects of the prom. This is like definitely not competitive, though, that for this generation, at least with, you know, mid journey, stable diffusion, dolly too. But this one, and this one, and even this one, I would say, and pretty much the rest of them, they're getting there. They're very competitive. Each one of these text-to-image models that we've talked about, Mid-Journey, Stable Diffusion, Dolly 2, they all have their own little strengths and weaknesses. Dolly 2 might be better at one thing, where Mid-Journey is way better at Dolly 2 at another thing. That They've got strengths and weaknesses in their own use cases, and this one definitely looks very competitive thus far. This is also a very nice generation. We got the full pixel art lemon there. He's got sunglasses, he's relaxing on the beach, he's on a table for some reason, but we'll let that one slide, and he's holding the lemonade, which we were also looking for. These ones down here don't really have the lemonade, which is interesting to see. This one's pretty good too, though. Definitely a lemon character, arms and legs, kind of tried to do the pixel art, but it just ended up a little bit blocky. Thus far, though, very impressed, very impressed by these generations, I think. And we get six results, by the way, for every prompt, which is great to see. It's not just a one prompt thing. You're waiting, you know, maybe up to a minute when there's no crazy queue line like might happen after I upload. And you're getting six results, so it's not too bad, you know, an image every 10 seconds, let's say. Everything does get translated to Chinese to actually work for this, but it actually worked out pretty well, I think, 
for this prompt specifically. Most of these generations, I think, are pretty coherent for being translated. Let's try something completely realistic. Kind of a simple prompt here. Food photography, lemon soup, in the realistic style. All right, for our realistic style here, let's see the way that these came out. So this 1024 by 1536, by the way, is like a portrait aspect ratio here. Again, the prompt, food photography, lemon soup. Very simple prompt. These are some very coherent imagery, I have to say. Definitely like lemon soup. That's, that's what I would guess if I was to see this. And it definitely has a food photography aspect, by the way. Added onto this prompt, we got like nice lighting, which would insinuate, you know, food professional photography. Very similar results here all around, just like a nice straight down image. We've got a bunch of lemons here on this one, and then just a little bowl of soup, some knives it looks like. But yeah, this is competitive. Definitely competitive with something like Stable Diffusion, I think, at least. And these, these images, by the way, are very, very high resolution. They're very detailed, which is awesome. Not many image generators really produce high detail results without upscaling. Dolly 2 is 1024 by 1024. That's pretty large. Midjourney, you can get really big images and really detailed images with their built-in upscalers, which are fantastic, by the way. And this one, honestly, I don't know if it's doing any built-in upscaling, but these images are coming out very nice and detailed and high res. This one's probably my favorite out of the bunch. Let's try this prompt in Dolly 2 real quick to see what the comparison might be. So here in Dolly, we actually get a little bit more variation, it looks like, with these imagery. I like Dolly 2's results a little bit better personally, but again, this is still competitive. Like these are honestly, when I look at something like this, it's a very similar image to what we were getting with Ernie. But Ernie has a unique stylized aspect to it, similar to Mid Journey, a little bit reminiscent to Mid Journey, especially with this image and a little bit more fine grained details here where Dolly's a little bit more like mushy around the edges, I think. But I think Dolly has more variation in total. Like this is a very creative little variation here and it's a little bit more coherent as well with the Im image it looks a little bit more realistic i think than some of these do or some of these look a little bit more like paintings than they do actual photos dolly 2 is definitely good at making stuff look like photos like that looks like a picture and you know none of these really look as much like a picture as that one does however you know a little bit fuzzy a little bit blurry here with dolly 2 very good detail with ernie the fact that it competes in the first place i think is very impressive Low poly is an interesting style to see in here. Let's give a low poly generation a shot. So to make our comparisons easier, I'm just going to head over onto open art here. And wow, they actually have a prompt book out, which is very interesting to see. I'm going to look for a low poly generation by another model here and just rip a prompt from that. And we can directly compare prompts very easily. Look at all of these fantastic low poly generations to pick from here. This one looks pretty sweet. An isometric 3D low poly render of a llama eating a cake isometric art. Copy to clipboard. This is what we're going for here. We want to see if we're close to something like this. This is stable diffusion, by the way. All right, so from the same prompt here, we definitely have very, very similar images. I mean, the prompt here wasn't too complicated. Llama eating a cake, low poly. Definitely very interesting. It's really trying to do the low poly stuff here. We can really see where it's it's being influenced by that part of the prompt and by that style. And it's not working out as well, though, as I think just even doing low poly in the prompt does with Stable Diffusion. I know Dolly 2 also does really good low poly stuff. So I think it's not really as competitive with Stable Diffusion on the low poly front at least. Maybe it could just be a bad generation, but these these aren't bad at all, though. You, you know, you still got the cake, you still got the llama. It's definitely close to low poly. It's just a little bit mushy around the edges. It could be the method they're using to upscale just works poorly with low poly. But, you know, they're not bad results. They're not bad results at all. Just, I think, Stable Diffusion beats them out, at least for this specific prompt. It's still pretty close, though. Let's try anime. I know. I, I gotta do it, folks. Let's look for an anime result here. All right, we've got this really cool lemon generation here. I have no doubt that this was generated for the lemon challenge that I hosted not too long ago here on Open Art. Wow, these are all so good. Oh, you guys are so good at generating lemon art. These are all just amazing. It's not really anime, I will say, but I still want to try it out in the anime generation because we're going to have a third contender here, by the way, which is an unreleased model that works with anime. I can't really tell you much more, but I'll, I'll show you the result from it. A lemon in the style of Studio Ghibli, adorable character art, beautiful lemon suburb punk background. Copy to clipboard. 
This was generated with Dolly 2. Let's see how Ernie handles this with its anime style. And we're also, again, going to try this with our third contender. I can't talk about it, really, but I can show you one generation from it at least. With the same prompt in Ernie's anime style here, this is the closest we could get. I mean, it's, it's a character. He's sort of holding a lemon, got the cyberpunk in there. The aspects are there. I suspect something went wrong with the Chinese to English translation. So, you know, with better translation, maybe we would get a better result here, but we just ended up with a lot of, like, kind of abstract lemon imagery, and it's cool-looking imagery, don't get me wrong, but it is just is not accurate to the prompt here, which is a little disappointing. Uh, but now I'll show you with the same exact prompt with this secret model that I have access to at the moment does with this prompt. It's an anime image generator. That's all I could say. Anime image generator. Here are some results that we got with this new image generator. Yeah, it's it's shaping out to be a real good image generation model here. I, I can't make a full video about it yet. I will one day, but I can't yet. I could show you a few results though. There is an, a lemon-based anime character. This is a cute little lemon character for sure. That's, a, that's an amazing result. Again, here's another one. Not really cyberpunk, I'll say that. It's sort of missing out on that part, but definitely very anime. This is just a beautiful, like, picture of a lemon that's like drawn art very nice this one as well sort of you know lemony colors at least a definitely anime character another just beautiful lemon art here this is definitely like a lemon little lemon like character maybe this is like the the, the lemon fairies that live amongst the lemon plants i really like that very, very unique and cool character for sure. Then we've also got this one, you know, sort of like a lemon character. And here's our third and final one. This, this is probably the best result out of the bunch. You know, it's like green hair, lemon colors. Got the lemons up there, like as a part of the hair. But yeah, definitely anime aspect there. And then just some more beautiful lemon Im imagery. This is shaping up to be a very, very good image generator. And I can't really talk about it much more than just showing you these photos. But yeah, this one's looking very competitive. This is like a little extra present for you guys in this video but yeah ernie is shaping out to be very interesting indeed if you guys get some really cool ernie results i would absolutely love to see them in my discord server again linked down below and linked on my website show off what you've made with ernie and everyone i'll see you next time in the next video thank you so much for watching please make sure to check out some of the other videos on this channel if you liked what you see with this one and i'll see you guys next time